okay now let's just see this question which i just asked in the previous video so what this question is saying let x be a discrete random variable which is taking the values 1 to n so x is a discrete random variable which is taking values from 1 to till n and similarly y is also another discrete random variable which is also taking the values 1 to n but the probabilities of y is not given see the probabilities of x is given which means the pmf of x is given that it is taking these values with equal probability equal probability means uniform distribution which means and everyone is taking 1 by n 1 by n 1 by n right this is what equal probability means now what about y now they have said that y is taking the values 1 to n but they have not specified that what is the probability of this maybe this probability is 1 by 2 and remaining 1 by 2 n uh, 1 by 2 is divided uh, among all, all of them i mean you don't know basically right you don't know that uh, what is the pmf of y because it is not given okay now they are saying assume x and y are independent then find this probability probability that x is equal to y so we need to find the probability where x and y both are equal this is what they are saying right cool probability that x is equal to y this is what they are saying so what do you think that how to solve this particular question see x and y could be equal when x is equal to y that is equal to 1 i mean both are equal to 1 which means i mean uh, I, I will i will rewrite it later but yeah it means x equal to y uh, x equal to 1 y equal to 1 or or either this happens or x equal to 1 comma y equal to 2 sorry x equal to 2 comma y equal to 2 i mean both are equal to 2 x equal to y equal to 2 you can say or okay i mean or means that it will be plus because in a random variable with different values always they are disjoint okay so with ran with random variable with the different values always they are disjoint so you can say this is x equal to y equal to 3 something like that right and then this is plus x equal to y equal to 4 something like that so you will be having some uh, some uh, i mean you will be having something like that and then ultimately it will be x equal to y equal to n right so what is happening here is that you are saying that you have x equal to y this is possible only when both are equal to 1 or both are equal to 2 or both are equal to 3 or both are equal to 4 or both are equal to n like that right so finally you can say probability of x equal to y this is equal to this is same as saying probability of x is 1 comma y is 1 plus probability of x is 2 comma y is 2 like that plus dot 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 probability of x is n comma y is n right now let's just do one thing let's just uh, uh, let's just make use of one thing which is given here they have said that x and y both are independent it means you can just separate it out this is x equal to 1 into probability of y equal to 1 plus probability of x equal to 2 into probability of y equal to 2 plus dot 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 probability of x equal to n into probability of y equal to n okay now let's just see it more carefully now what do, do we have we have this particular probability which is equal to 1 by n into probability of y equal to 1 plus 1 by n into probability of y equal to 2 plus dot 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 1 by n into probability of y equal to n right which is equal to if you take 1 by n common this is probability of y equal to 1 plus probability of y equal to 2 plus dot 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 probability of y equal to n and now since you know that all of these i mean these these are the only possible values for y which means the summation of all of this should be one because these are the only possible values for y so this should be the valid pmf so that's why the summation of all of this is one that's why this is one by n into one which is just one by n so one by n is your final answer and that is how you can solve this question so if i just say that what are the what are the options which i mean uh, which option is correct here then you will say c is correct here right so that was really a nice question i know this was not very tough question but uh, i still said it is tough maybe because this is the first good question that we are solving right cool i hope you understood how to solve these kind of questions i mean there is no kind of question or something but yeah how to uh, I, I hope you at least understood that how to solve this question cool okay
so if you see the solution then they have said the same thing they have just used a sigma notation to i mean avoid writing it multiple times so they have used the sigma notation and then they have done the same thing okay now there is one question that i would like to just give you as a homework because i have the solution on the next page so just try out this question okay this is just homework question just try out this question solution is on the next page similarly this is another question try out this question solution is on the next page again okay now let's just do more questions and now i am just changing a type of question so here i will be finding a pmf random variable but instead of a random i mean that will be a random variable only but it will be a function of some other random variables okay let's just see so suppose that this is a question which is given to us now they are saying suppose we roll a die and let x be the value that is showing find out the pmf of x square which means they are saying if you are rolling a die then then x is the number that that it is coming so what are the possible values of x the possible values of x you can say maybe i can i can write in the table you can say it could be 1 could be 2 could be 3 could be 4 could be 5 could be 6 right these are the possible values of x isn't it okay now now uh let's just see that uh, uh, that what we can uh, what we can say see the probabilities you can you can definitely say about this x which is 1 by 6 because uh, like assuming the die, die is fair right Every, everything is 1 by 6 now this is pmf pmf of x but they are saying find out the pmf of x square so let's just see how to find out the pmf of x square so what are the possible values for x square first list down the possible values possible values of x square so what are the possible values you will say it is 1 square which is 1 uh, 4 9 16 25 and 36 these are the possible values of x square isn't it now we need to find out the probabilities here what is the probability that x square is 1 and then you will call that this is pmf probability mass function right so let's just find out the probability that x is taking the value uh, i mean x square is taking value 1 when this x square will be taking the value 1 whenever x is taking the value 1 similarly whenever x is taking the value 2 similarly whenever x is taking value 3 similarly whenever x is taking value 4 similarly this value can come whenever x is taking value 5 and at last you can say that this value will be coming whenever x is taking value 6 isn't it now now if i just ask you what is the probability that x square is taking value 1 you will see this is same as the probability that x is taking value 1 so this is also 1 by 6 this is also 1 by 6 everything is 1 by 6 here why because here x square will be taking value 1 is same as saying x is taking value 1 x square is taking value 4 is same as saying x is taking value 2 so you can say that probability of x square is taking value 4 is same as the probability of x is taking value 2 which is 1 by 6 right so that's how you can find out the pmf probability mass function for x square so what we are doing here we are basically basically just checking that how many of x just leading to this particular value right how many of x are leading to this particular value okay maybe maybe with more examples it will be more clear so let's let's see that how to find out the probability mass function for this particular random variable which is a function of a random variable right so suppose they have given you that uh, probability of x being 1 is 1 by 10 probability of x being 2 is 2 by 10 probability of x being 3 is 3 by 10 something like that right till 4 so uh, you can uh, you can definitely validate that this is a valid pmf or not right i mean now you you can just check whether 1 by 10 plus 2 by 10 plus 3 by 10 till 4 by 10 is this one or not okay you can definitely do it but let me directly solve this question so you need to find out pmf of this function pmf of this random variable and pmf of x let me just write down pmf of x pmf of x basically x can take 1 2 3 4 it can take 1 with the probability with the probability 1 by 10 right it is k by 10 yeah. so it can take with the probability 1 by 10 it can take with the probability 2 by 10 it can take with the probability 3 by 10 it can take with the probability 4 by 10 these are the properties that x can take so these are the properties that x can take now let's just check 
what are the possible values here so see 1 square minus 4 plus 3 so it will be 3 uh, plus 1 which is 4 I think possible values if x is 1 if x is 1 then this function let's suppose this is a random variable then this one this random variable is 0 right okay if x is 2 it is 4 minus 8 that is 4 minus 8 plus 3 which is 7 minus 8 which is which is y equal to minus 1 I think right 7 minus 8 yeah and if x is uh, 3 if x is 3 then y will be 9 minus 9 minus 4 uh, sorry 9 minus 12 plus 3 then again it is 0 if x is 4 then then y is 16 minus 16 plus 3 3 this is 3 right y is 3 okay now let's just see how to solve this question so these are the possible values of pi right these are the possible values of i now let's just check how to solve this particular question see y is having the possible values which is 0 minus 1 and 3 now just tell me how many of the values which uh, of x which are leading to 0 2 values right x equal to 1 and x equal to 3 so you can say that probability y is 0 is same as saying either x is 0 or x is 3 right x is 3 x is 0 means 3 by no, sorry x is either x is 1 either x is 1 or x is 3 x is 1 means 1 by 10 x is 3 means 3 by 10 so it is 1 by 10 plus 3 by 10 which is 4 by 10 right so let me write 4 by 10 here. Now what about minus 1? Y will be minus 1. Y will be minus 1. Only when x is 2. Which means 2 by 10 is the probability here. Y will be 3. Only when x is 4. Which means 4 by 10 is the probability here. You can just check it out. Summation of all these probabilities should be 1. Right? That's how, uh, that's how you can solve this question. So how we are solving? We are just checking that how many of the values. Okay. So let me write it here. So we are just checking that how many of the values are leading to 0. So you find out that there are two values of x which is 1 and 3, which is 1 and 3, which are leading to 0, right? Either x is 1 or x is 3. Similarly, how many values are leading to minus 1? x equal to 2. So x equal to 2 is leading to minus 1. How many values are leading to 3? How many values are leading to 3? y equal to 0. Oh, sorry, uh, x equal to 4, right? x equal to 4 is leading to 3. So these are the possible values which are leading to these values, right? I hope you understood. Okay. Good. Now let's just move to the solution. So this is 2 by 5, 1 by 5 and 2 by 5. 2 by 5, yes. 1 by 5 and 2 by 5. Yeah. This is correct. I mean, I have written 4 by 10, which is 2 by 5. 2 by 10 is 1 by 5 only, right? Okay. Now let's see this question. This question is saying the PMF of X is given something like that. You need to find out the PMF of Y and Y just X square. Maybe, maybe we can try it on the next page. So we need to find out the PMF of Y. So Y is X square, right? So what are the possible values of Y? If X is minus 2, it will be 4. Here it will be 1. It is 1. It is 4. So 1 and 4, these are the only two possible values. 1 and 4, right? Now when it will be 1, whenever X is x is 1 or minus 1 whenever x is 1 or minus 1 whenever x is 1 or x is minus 1 so you can just add both of these probabilities this is 1 by 4 plus 3 by 8 and when it is 4 whenever x is minus 2 whenever x is minus 2 or x is 2 then it will be 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 right this is uh, this is 5 by 8 this is 3 by 8 right so that's how you can solve this question. This is a PMF of Y. So the PMF of Y will look like this. You will say probability Y equal to 1 is 5 by 8. Probability Y equal to 4 is 3 by 8. And that's how you and that's how you can solve this particular question. So this is PMF of Y. Right? Okay. Now let's just see this question number 12. What they are saying, this question I have taken one MIT video, so there was one recitation video, I have taken that from this, uh, like this question from that video. I mean, this is also easy question, you can maybe try it out and, uh, okay, just try it out this question in the homework, uh, like as a homework, because the solution is on the next page, okay. 
you can you can definitely try it out so you can you can find out the value of a and then you can find out the pmf of uh, z which is x square just try out uh, try out this question and you can see the solution on the next page cool okay so thank you so much everyone and we will be meeting in the next video i think okay thank you